Welcome back to Data Science. -y. In this video today, I'll be telling you about a new AI model by Mistral and it's called Mistral Small 3.1. This company claims that this model Mistral 3.1 it outperforms the models such as Gemma 3 and GPT-4 O Mini. So I'll be telling you all about this model. So stay tuned until the end so that you don't miss any information regarding it. So let's get right into it. So Mistral Small 3.1 is built on Mistral Small 3. So this new model Mistral Small 3.1, it comes with improved text performance, multi-modal understanding and an expanded context window of up to 128k tokens. So it has an expanded context window of up to 128k tokens. It has improved text performance. It has multi-modal understanding and it also outperforms the models such as Gemma 3 and GPT-4 O Mini. Gemma 3 is the recently AI model by Google and GPT-4 O Mini is the AI model by OpenAI and it also delivers an amazing speed of 150 tokens per second. So per second, 150 tokens is used. So the speed of it is 150 tokens per second. And this model is completely open source. This new model, Mistral Small 3.1, is released under an Apache 2.0 license. So it's completely open source. And regarding the performance, if you see here, for Mistral Small 3.1, and this model, the parameter of it is 24 billion parameters. Like how you see Gemma 3 has 27 billion parameters, but Mistral Small 3.1 is smaller than Gemma 3 and it has 24 billion parameters. In GPQA diamond, if you see the latency per milliseconds per token, so you can see here the latency is less and the performance or the score of it is more than the other models such as Gemma 3, GPT-4 O Mini and Claude 3.5 Haiku. So you can see here, if you see these models, so Mistral Small 3.1, it beats them in the GPQA diamond. Modern AI applications, they demand a blend of capabilities such as they want to handle text, understanding multimodal inputs means such as the inputs you give as text or image or video or anything like that. So the AI should be able to understand those prompts. It also supports multiple languages and it also manages long context. So the latency is low and it's cost efficient. And shown below also, so Mistral Small 3.1 is the first open source model that not only meets, but in fact, it surpasses the performance of the leading small proprietary models across all these dimensions you can see. And below you can find the details on model performance. These are the numbers which is reported previously by other providers. And here you can see there's the instruct performance such as in text, the text instruct benchmarks, you see here the performance. Here you can see Mistral Small 3.1, Gemma 3, Cohere IR Vision, GPT-4 O Mini, and Claw 3.5 Haiku. So here you can see the other AI models in which Mistral Small 3.1 is competed against. So here you can see Mistral Small 3.1 wins. It has a score of 10.43. And Gemma 3 has 10 score. Cohere IR Vision is 7.65, GPT-4 O Mini is 9.5, and Claude 3.5 Haiku is 8.02. Here you can see Mistral Small 3.1 wins. And in GPQA main, for Mistral Small 3.1, the score is 44.42, Gemma 3 is 36.83, Cohere IR Vision is 34.38, GPT-4 Omidy is 40.2 and Claude 3.5 Haiku is 37.05. So Mistral Small 3.1 here wins. In GPQA Diamond also here it wins. So 45.96, Gemma 3 is 42.4, Cohere IR Vision is 33.84, GPT-4 O Mini is 39.39, Cloud 3.5 Haiku is 41.6, so here also Mistral Small 3.1 wins in GPQA Diamond. Here in MMLU, in MMLU Pro, Human Eval and Math. So let's see here. In MMLU also the score of it is 80.62. Here also it wins against the other models. In MMLU Pro, here it does not win. So here it loses, Gemma 3 wins. In Human Eval, here Mistral Small wins. The score of it is 88.41. 
and in math here also it does not win because Gemma 3 has 89 score and Mistral Small 3.1 has a score of 69.3. So in math Mistral Small 3.1 loses and Gemma 3 wins. In multimodal instruct benchmarks here you see in MMLU Pro here you can see Mistral Small 3.1 wins. In math Vista also it wins. In MMMU here Mistral Small does not win here Gemma 3 wins. And in MMMT Bench, here you can see Mistral Small wins. In Mistral Small here, it wins in Chart QA. In DocV QA also it wins. In AI2D also it wins. So here in most of the benchmarks, you can see Mistral Small 3.1 is winning. It's beating GPT-40 in all of the benchmarks. And in some of the benchmarks, in most of the benchmarks, it's beating Gemma 3. So it's in just one or two or three benchmarks, Gemma 3 wins. But in the rest, you can see Mistral Small 3.1 win. Here in Multilingual also in average, you can see it's more. So Mistral Small 3.1 wins. In European also the score is more. In East Asian it's more. And in Middle Eastern in it's less. Here Gemma 3 wins a little bit. But... Mistral small 3.1 in the rest 3, Mistral small 3.1 wins. In long context also it wins in all of the benchmarks you can see. Even in pre-trained performance also it wins against Gemma 3. So here you can see the score of it. So in most of the benchmarks it wins. So Mistral 3.1 it actually outperforms Gemma 3 and GPT-40 mini. In use cases also where this model can be used. Okay, so this is a small model which is designed to handle a wide range of AI tasks, the generative AI tasks, in which there's instruction following means the AI has to follow the human instructions. Conversational assistance means, of course, it would converse with you, it will assist you. Image understanding, so it would understand the image that you give to it and function calling. And it also provides a solid foundation for both enterprise and consumer grade AI applications. So, so here this model provides a solid foundation for both enterprise and consumer grade AI applications. So the key features and capabilities is that first of all this model is very 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 lightweight. So it can run on a single RTX 4090 or a Mac with 32 GB RAM. Means if you have a MacBook with 32 GB RAM then you can use this small model which is Mistral Small 3.1. So this is a great fit for on-device use case. It means on your laptop, on your on-device, you can use this model. It has fast response conversational assistance. So this is ideal for virtual assistance and other applications where quick, accurate responses are essential. Low latency function calling means the function calling would be rapid, means it won't take any time and within the automated or agentic workflows. And you can also fine tune for specialized domains. So this model can be fine tuned to specialize in specific domains in which it creates the accurate subject matter experts. So it's useful in fields such as legal advice, medical diagnostics and technical support. And it's also the foundation for advanced reasoning. So they say we continue to be impressed by how the community builds on top of open Mistral models. And in the last few weeks, we have seen some excellent reasoning models which was built on Mistral Small 3, such as the DPERMS 24B by Nose Research. And so that they're saying that we are releasing the both base and instruct checkpoints for Mistral Small 3.1 to enable further downstream customization of the model. Means you can use this model, you can fine tune it as you want. So it's a good thing for developers. And you can also use it on various enterprise and consumer applications that require the multimodal understanding, such as document verification, diagnostics, on-device image processing, visual inspection for quality checks, object detection in security systems, image-based customer support and journal purpose assistance. So in all these things, you can use this model. And where is it available? The main thing that where this model is available from where you can use this model. So this model is available to download on Hugging Face website with the name of Mistral Small 3.1 Base. And also the another name is also which is called Mistral Small 3.1 Instruct. If you want this model for enterprise deployments with private and optimized inference infrastructure, 
then you can contact this company. You can also try the Model Y API on Mistral AI's developer playground, which is called La Platform, starting today. And this model is available on Google Cloud Vertex AI also. So you can use this model on Google Cloud Vertex AI. And this model in the coming weeks also, it would be available on NVIDIA NIM and also Microsoft Azure AI Foundry in the coming weeks. So here you can see that where is it available. And I'll also show you on Hugging Face the Mistral Small 3.1 base and Mistral Small 3.1 Instruct. Here you can see on Hugging Face, this is the Mistral Small 3.1 24 billion parameter base. So this is the base model of it. Some of the features that it has, it's called vision. So vision capabilities it has, which enables the model to analyze the images and also provide some insights also based on those images which it has analyzed. So vision capabilities it has, it is multilingual, means it supports dozens of languages. So these are some of the languages which they said that this model supports. So it's under Apache 2.0 license, means the open license which allows the usage and modification for both commercial and non-commercial purposes. And context window is 128,000 context window. There's also a tokenizer. So it has the Tekken tokenizer with a 131,000 vocabulary use. So 131,000 vocabulary use. Okay, so this is the model card for Mistral Small 3.1, 24 billion instruct. Okay, so this is an instruction and it's the fine-tuned version of Mistral Small 3.1 base. The other one that I showed you was the base model. And this model is an instruction fine-tuned version of it. So you can use any of it if you want. So if you like this video, do like, subscribe and do tell me in the comments whether you think that this model is a good model or not. So that's all from my side. Catch you next time. Bye bye.